all I can smell is like hot pumpkin and it's not the nicest. Wait, how am I smelling? I don't have a nose. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Patreon, and I'll put the handles down below and over <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to be. Like some old ghost man that can't quite vibrato? I don't know. I don't know what it was. That's what you're getting. So if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions. You can become a reaction, you can fast track them. There's going to be educational patron only videos. Um, so consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, so we're going back to my favourite Halloween film. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. I know, I know, maybe it's a bit overkill of Nightmare Before Christmas, but, but I'm making an executive decision. I'm just doing it because I love it so much. We're going to listen to Catherine O'Hara singing Sally's song. Now this is a live performance from the Hollywood Bowl. It's from 2016. Um, Catherine O'Hara is a legend, by the way. So many amazing roles. Uh, she was Kevin's mum in Home Alone. Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Mrs. Dietz from Beetlejuice. She's just got so many great characters under her belt. So we're going to listen to her singing Sally's song. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Sally's song. Um, so let's just go right ahead and have a listen. I feel there's something in the wind That feels like tragedies at hand It's 2020. What? What else can they throw at us? Listen to how high placed this is. I'm not sure if that's where her singing voice would normally sit, but because she's doing a character and it's the character's singing voice, she's getting that really high. I sense there's something in the wind. That lovely little bend on the in the wind was really well executed. You can see she's standing, she's got her anchors engaged. It's probably more her head and neck anchors because she's hitting a higher kind of place and she's keeping that vocal fold closure very thin so they're only kind of meeting at the top end rather than at the bottom to the top, the mucosal wave. And all of that combined just gives this lovely, very, very soft, very smooth sound. There's also a little bit of aspirate tone in there as well, which is just making it nice and breathy. Really good. Oh, it's the film. You can actually see her relaxing as she comes down off that really high um, part of the song. Da, 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 da. She's really starting to relax into that place a wee bit more. I think that top end with that character voice as well is a little bit pulled. Like she's having to really, really, st not struggle, but she's having to kind of pull up to that place and that voice and that character. But she's hitting it all perfectly. I just don't think that that's necessarily... Uh, her like attractor state like that's not where I think her voice would want to go in that situation but she's doing it to serve the character so madness amazing <laughs> Here we 
such a beautiful song. It's so simple, um, but so effective. It's one of my favourite songs of the whole film, I think. So one thing that pops out at me about this performance is that there's little to no vibrato at all. So in order to kind of encourage that vibrato sound, you're going to want to tilt your thyroid cartilage, which makes that kind of singy, kind of sweet sound. Ah, she's not got any of that. It's ah. And when you don't tilt like that, you get this much more kind of um, informal sound. Now, in terms of it serving the character, what it does is it takes it from that place of it sounding like a performance to it sounding like she's just sitting on her own and she's kind of just playing with her thoughts, you know? Like the song isn't for anybody. She's just kind of getting lost in her mind. It's really effective. And it's largely because she's not tilting and using loads of vibrato and turning it into this big outward performance. It's very insular and it's very personal. Um, I just, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I've never heard her sing any other songs, uh, but I would really like to because she's got a lovely, lovely, sweet sounding voice. But as I said, I think this was her singing as Sally. So I'd love to hear her singing as Catherine, see what that sounds like. Obviously I've seen her performing uh, Jump in the Line by Harry Pelafonte, but that was her miming, so it doesn't count. So I hope you liked that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, then hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me. And how are we gonna buy this one? Hmm. But did you notice the subscribe button? Just hit it now and binge watch all my stuff and let me know you've subbed. Actually, uh, yeah, let's go with that. Bye!